Good morning and welcome back to Kitten Up Kitten. Um, I'm here to do a whip and chat today. So I thought I'd catch you up with how far I've got. So we've got a fair bit of this um, forest snowman done. This is from Diamond Art Club. He is, if I can find the info, he is a 22 by 22 inch or 56 by 56 centimeter diamond art club painting look at the sparkle on there it's insane all the ab's it's beautiful so i have got down to this bit here so this is a section that i'm doing today um yes i am still in pajamas because i've just taken the youngest to school um, and I thought I'd do a whip and chat because um, I did actually film another video on my camera um, and that was a kitten up of a um, oh I can't remember what company it is now um, it was a kitten up of an ever moment picture that I brought I've lost my cover minder magnet somewhere um, and it didn't go to plan I wasn't able to upload it so I've given up on that one so I thought I'd do a whip and chat today please forgive any noise in the background if you can hear a churning noise that is my dishwasher um, I am in the sunroom um, which is where my dishwasher and my washing machine is housed and um, that's what we have to work with. So I'm over halfway. I'm, I'm almost down to the last third of this painting, which is good. Haven't got as much done this week as I wanted to do. Um, purely because of work. Um, we went away at the weekend, which was nice. Um, so I'm a little bit behind. A little bit behind. Not much. Um, if you are here for the very first time, welcome. If you are coming back, because I do now have subscribers. Yay! So happy. Um, so I'm guessing it's because you do like the same sort of things as me. Um, so if you come back, thank you very much. Please do like the videos. Please leave your comments below and I will answer them. I haven't had any yet, but I will answer any questions. Um, I'm going to start working on this. So we're starting with the X symbol. <coughs> I have my pink pen today. And um, I'm just going to start working. So how are you all? Are you well? What is going on in your life? Tell me. Let me know. Um, so I did do um, the kitchen up of the other moment. I don't know when I'll get around to doing that one. It is another square. And I did cut it up in my Hua Can storage. Um, so unfortunately, we will just have to start that one when I start working on it. But in better news, I do have more diamond paintings coming. So I have three from um, Fan Cells. As I've said before, I'm very careful when I'm working, when I'm ordering from fan cells because unfortunately I do come across stolen images on there. So I do try and research what I'm buying. Um, but I also have two more coming from Diamond Art Club, both of which are round. Because I did, um, I went on to, a, when I first started doing squares, I went on to a bit of a square jag. So I've ordered and got loads of square diamond paintings. And when I went away in the caravan, I took a small round one with me and really enjoyed doing it and thought, you know what? I do actually enjoy doing rounds. So the um, five that I've got coming are all round diamond paintings. When I get my diamond art club ones, I will possibly I have one already kitted up, which is um, Wonderland. I have two more come in. And the reason I chose the two I did is because one is a Mandy Manzano. And I do like her renditions. Um, one is not, but it's a smaller one. It's a snack size painting. 
and I've ordered that um, so that I can do it ready for when my summer house is ready because it's really colourful and it'll look really nice in there and because I ordered off the app for the first time I got a massive 20% off so I managed to get both paintings for a good price as you know Diamond Art Club are not cheap especially if you're ordering to the UK the shipping is astronomical um, but I think you'll agree looking at the quality of this canvas um, it is definitely worth it so this week I have been working both jobs um, it's been a little busy um, we are currently um, a team member short so there's some extra shifts and stuff going on um, being a receptionist is fun you do come across some some very very funny people um, yesterday I developed what I call a stupid ache which is a headache brought on by dealing with people who for whatever reason think that you as a receptionist have magical powers do you know what I mean I'm sure if you work in admin or um, on reception or call centers you you will know what I'm talking about so basically um, one of these people phoned up and literally the conversation consisted of her asking me to connect her to somebody. So I said, yeah, certainly, can I take some information? So she said, um, well, this person's phoned me. Um, we were talking about so-and-so, but I don't know who she was. I don't know what her name was. All I, I know she was working from home and um, I don't have her number. Can you connect me to her, please? And I'm just sitting there, dumbstruck. It's like, so I sort of say to her, I said, well, you know, you've called into the main office. If that person is calling from home, I have no idea, no way of finding out who you were talking to. And she didn't get it, but I need to speak to her. I understand that, but without a name, or a job title, or, um, you know, knowing where she was calling from, I can't connect you because she's obviously not in the office. Um, well, can't you see from your system who's called me? No, because she was calling you from home, not through our system. And even if, I wouldn't be able to see that anyway. Um, and what happens is, you get stuck in this circle and the best way I've found to deal with these people is politely to keep repeating what you've just said because that's the only way. And I had a number of phone calls like this yesterday. It was just really busy. I had people coming in, people needing COVID tests because obviously we have to COVID test people as well because it is a care home. Um, and I've got people wanting laminating and I've got people wanting to know if I've seen so-and-so and it's all going on at once which generates a stupid headache a stupid ache um, so I left work yesterday with um, the beginnings of a migraine and it's just purely because you've had so much going on all at one time and you're just trying to juggle it all and with the best will in the world that person who wants their laminating doing doesn't understand that their laminating is at the bottom of the list of things that you need to do because to them it's the most important thing ever so i was not sorry to see the back of work yesterday at all um i didn't have any nails yesterday i didn't have anyone booked in which was good but i've not got as much diamond painting done in the last few days um, we went away at the weekend, just me and my husband, um, as a anniversary celebration. I didn't take a diamond painting with me, although I was getting ready for bed on the Friday night. We went after he finished work and um, a drill dropped onto the bed. So um, 
that was quite amusing um other than that um i've not really been doing much it just pottering about really um as i said i've got some extra shifts to do so i'm actually in work tomorrow afternoon um which is fun because it means i'm doing a two to eight so 2 p.m to 8 p.m and then i'm back in on my normal shift eight o'clock the next morning hate doing that hate it because you feel like you haven't left but it is what it is so diamond painting wise um i literally did part of the previous section um the day before and then last night i spent half an hour finishing that off so we now do have a little deer head oh you can't see i'm, out, I'm not out of out of shot we have a little deer head which is kind of cute um i am really enjoying working on this one but i'm i really am thinking i'm going to do a round next so i'm not sure which one it will be i really want to do wonderland but wonderland's quite a big picture so i'm not sure whether to wait for i won't get this finished before my diamond art club ones arrive so i may um kit up the smaller one out of those two if i've got some storage to put it into otherwise i shall do one of my others but i'm, I'm really wanting to do a round i think so um we will see we'll see what happens um what else have i got i did buy a little um cover minder um i can't remember where i got it from um i will find the details out i'm just going to pull it off so it's it's literally just a little super sparkly pot with a lid on it and because it's a cover minder it doesn't go anywhere i love it got it off etsy um, took a little while to come, but I think that is normal with Etsy. It's not somewhere I order from a lot. But I really wanted a little tray to put my um, to put my trash in. So I was really pleased with that. So I will find out where I got it from and link it below in the description box. Um, what else has been going on? Oh, I'm booked in for my my covid booster because i work in a cow home um i'm gonna get rid of that drill because it's got a hole in the top um because i work in a care home i do get earlier access to um the covid vaccine boosters etc which is good so i've got that planned for friday so i'm going to have that done friday afternoon after i finish work because i'm working all weekend this week um, but I don't have any nails to do. Um, that is a little bit quieter, but I don't plan to properly restart until November anyway. So that's not a bad thing. We are having a log burner put in towards the end of the month. So once that's done, we can then decorate the room, which is why I need to get this picture finished because as I've explained before, this picture is my Christmas mantelpiece picture. The rest of the year we will have um, my Freddie Mercury one that I did recently hang in there. So once the fire's done, we need to get that room decorated. Um, and that will be the first room, except for my daughter's bedroom, that we've actually decorated since we moved in. Um, we just didn't decorate before purely because we were doing so much to the house you know we had the whole house rewired so it would be a bit pointless redecorate uh, decorating the house and then having to redecorate it after they did all the wiring because it obviously does cause a lot of mess so we have held off decorating for that reason but it would be nice to have it done for christmas um I don't think much else has happened really um i was able to get over and see my granddaughter on friday before i went away um we weren't able to go over previously because of my youngest having covid so although we'd all been double jabbed obviously the baby has not so i didn't want to risk it because i'd never forgive myself so i'm just going to move that camera slightly um 
what are you all up to? What are you working on? Um, are you a square drill person? Are you a round drill person? Are, or are you like me and actually like both for different reasons? Um, that wasn't very straight. I was watching um, Miss Crocheting Coffee this morning um, because she did a whip and chat and um, was watching her with her multi-placer. I think she's got like a, a six-placer, something like that. And I'm sort of tempted to give it a go, but I know how picky I am. And the problem is she was doing exactly what annoys me about using a multi-placer. She was placing six drills down and then switching the pen around to straighten them up. And it's like, I could have just placed them singly in the time it's took her to do that so for me I don't know I don't know whether it's something that I want to practice to be honest you know I find it very therapeutic doing my little steps you know and at the end of the day yes you would get paintings completed quickly um, but I like the fact that they took the time that they have I like the fact that I've spent this amount of time lovingly placing those drills you know that's what i get a sense of achievement from so i'm not sure it's something i do want to try but hey you know we all do it our own way don't we um i wanted to talk to you about how i decide where to start my diamond painting as well um so i usually start depending on the size of the picture i usually start at the top in the right hand corner and that's purely because I, I start in that corner and work my way across in strips and as I'm working on the diamond painting if it's long enough it then means that the bit that I've done starts to hang off the edge of the table um, and because I have cover paper on obviously I'm not leaning in the sticky all the time so that works for me however um, one of the diamond art pictures that I've got come in has got a lot of um, plain background colour in it. So there is a chance that I may start that one differently. You know, if there's more colour blocking at the bottom of the picture, I may start at the bottom of the picture. But I'll turn the picture upside down and work on it upside down. The tip I have for working upside down is to make sure you turn your storage upside down as well. So if I was working upside down, not a really good example because it's an X, but um, if I would turn my pot the same direction that I was working, so if I was upside down, I'd turn it like that. So that I am seeing the symbol the same way as I am working on it. Um, especially for things like Zs and Ns, that sort of thing. Because, um, you know, U's and C's depending on how they're printed. Um, I generally um, print labels for my storage anyway. Um, if they do look too similar I may put a line underneath that letter on the way up it should be so that I know. So if I had a six and a nine I'd put a line underneath to denote which way round it should be because that helps. But it varies on the picture. If I've got a picture that has got lots of action going on on one end, I will do the plainer end first, whichever that may be. Um, if I do a really big picture, I do tend to turn it on its side and work in sections that way. It just varies on the picture, really. Um, I can't say that I enjoy colour blocking over confetti you know I single place anyway so it doesn't really make a lot of difference to me except for the colour blocking tends to go quicker because you're using less colours um, don't really have a preference um, the only thing that I'm really a stickler for is getting rid of that clear plastic I just don't like it and I know a lot of it, it's a lot easier to work with it because it's there, it's already on there, you're not fapping. But I just can't, I can't deal with the crinkling, I can't deal with how it makes my arms sweaty from leaning on it. I hate that. 
I don't like the fact I can see through it because I chase diamonds all over the place. So um, that's why I use cover papers. I think I did mention actually in the last video that I um, that I got some cover papers and a passport holder from Admore Zest because they're the perfect size and I don't have to go around cutting the papers down. Um, this is a good size section for me. I think that, you know, this is feasibly what I can work on. I may be able to, if I've got a day off like today, I might be able to get two sections done today. Um, but I might not. And I don't like to leave a section half done. I, I will. You know, life happens. Things interrupt. Sometimes you have to. Um, but I prefer not to. If I do have to leave a section half done, I get a piece of cover paper and if it won't stick to the bit I've done because of how many drills I've got on it, I'll just use the cover minder um, to hold it in place so that it doesn't get, you know, dust, dog fur, cobwebs, you name it. Um, so nail business wise, yeah, I've done a couple of sets this week. Not too many. Um, I've mainly wanted to, you know, get some diamond painting done, but it just didn't happen that way. And unfortunately, work and family life comes first. I wish it didn't. Um, I don't really need to buy more diamond paintings. I do have plenty in my stash and I will do a video of my stash at some point for you but I'm hoping the next video to go up will be unboxings so that I've got that on there and then a kitten up so I've got that I've just decided to stick with using my phone um, the sound quality is better um, the video quality is better so why mess with it um, you know, I'm not a tech genius, so trying to get my head around using a different editing app, it's not going to happen. You know, I'm used to what I'm doing, and the only way I can continue doing that with a with the video camera is to buy a Chromebook um, and to get more memory than I've already got on my tablet, I would have to go for a 64 gigabyte. And um, it's a couple of hundred quid. I, I can't justify spending 200 pounds on a piece of equipment just to use an app that I use regularly on my laptop, any on my tablet anyway. So I'm just gonna stick to the, uh, stick to the phone. And if it takes a little while to upload to drive, then so, so be it, not an issue. Um, what else can I talk about? I haven't written a plan out today, so I don't have set topics today. Um, glad to see the fuel issue is resolved. That seems to be dying a death now, which is good. Although, to be fair, I didn't really have a problem. Um, the, the two times that I went and got fuel, I managed to get fuel quite easily. You know, I didn't fill my tank up. I just put in what I would usually use not a problem so just scanning to make sure i've got all of the x's um this section you know is a little blocky um i will try if i do another whip and chat on this particular canvas i will try and get one of these bits where it's a little bit busier but we do have some stuff going on at the end so that'll be fine i've just dropped a diamond i must honestly I'm glad that, oh, there it is. I'm glad Diamond Art Club give you extras because I'm always dropping diamonds. Um, okay, any other plans that I've got? I don't think there is, to be honest. I just want to get some videos up and kind of feel that I need to get some different content up. Um, I didn't unbox the accessory type stuff that I've got because... Um, I don't generally watch unboxings of accessories. I'm going to be honest. For me, 
I want to watch the unboxings from different diamond painting companies just to see. And you know, there's been a couple that I've seen. Um, I, you know, I've been watching the Craftably ones, but I can't justify spending the amount of money that Craftably are at this point in my life. It's just too expensive, um, especially with the shipping. So, although I like the look of them and I love that they come in these fancy tubes, I'm probably not going to uh, order from there at the time being. Um, I have spent enough on Diamond Art Club that I do get um, early release notices, so that's always useful. I just scan what's in there. Um, but I do have, you know, I'll have five I think I've got two Diamond Art Club canvases already no so I'll have four to choose from so for now I think that'll do um, apart from this picture um, I don't really have anything that's urgent to do out of my kit I'm not giving diamond paintings away as Christmas presents this year or anything um, except for the one that I bought my mum but obviously that's an undone one because she's a diamond painter too um, so I don't have a set schedule of what I'm going to be doing next I'm literally just going to pick from the kits that I've got kitted up I'm just tempted to do a round one and a smaller one next just for a break um, Freddie I think was a think he was a 60 by 80 so quite a big picture this one isn't as big but it's taken me a little while to do um, I did put a new glue dot in this pen yesterday it was a little bit too sticky to start with but it seems to have calmed down now um, the other pen that I've got that I use on this desk has got an older one in so I've been using that for the ABs and as this one starts to get less sticky I'll refill the other one and switch them over works for me I do prefer glue dots I have to say I love glue dots um, but I don't multi-place so I don't know how good they are for multi-placing I know some people still use wax for multi-placing um, I don't actually have any wax until I get a couple more kits. I've got no wax because I've given it all to my mum. She does use it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's absolutely a really nice sunny day today. Um, however, it is a little bit chilly. I think it was only about 10 degrees when I took Cat to school this morning. So it's fresh as my... As my dad would say, it's it's fresh. Um, in normal everyday speak, it's cold. Um, but I'm still sitting in the sunroom with the door open, so it's not that bad. Um, admittedly, I do have pyjamas and a dressing gown on. Because um, I will get dressed later before I pick Kat up from school. So aside from that, today is a day of pottering, doing some housework. And diamond painting hopefully so I just thought if I got my whip and chat out the way early I can get that uploading while I'm doing the other bits and then I can come back and do a little bit more later um, I am at work tomorrow but it is a two to late so I don't have to get up silly early um, well that didn't want to stick did it I will say this canvas is very very sticky um, it holds these diamonds I've not had one single drill fall off as opposed to my Freddy um, diamond painting in which case every time I hung it up I so I hang my my canvases if I'm not working on them I hang them on trouser hangers so even as I'm working on them they're on a hanger just so that you know that they're out of the way they're not in my way and especially when I'm doing nails because obviously my nail desk is the table that I work off it's the most comfortable 
table to work off. Um, so I take it off and I, I hang it. And with my Freddie one, every time I took it down, I'd lost, you know, a diamond or two. Um, Freddie is going behind a frame. So um, he is going behind glass. So I won't seal that one. I haven't actually sealed a diamond painting yet. I've not tried it. I do have a, I do have everything to do it. And I do have a cheap diamond painting to try it on because I didn't want to do it on one of my more expensive ones and it go horribly wrong. So I am going to try that at some point. Um, this one also will be going into a frame just because they're sizes that I can get. Um, but I do have um, a... I, I bought a set of the angel wings. I'm sure you will have seen them. They're just the, the plain angel wings. There's there's two. And um, I brought those. It was the very first thing that I worked on after I did that first range diamond painting. Um, and my plan is to put those on foam board. Um, so those I will seal. But I want to try on a couple of the cheap canvases that I've got first so we'll just give that a bit of a bit of a shake I am today using my white boat from Admore Zest love this one um, the only issue I have with this one actually is the stopper um, if you put it in the wrong way around it gets stuck quite badly look I had a drill on the end there so it didn't stick um, it's a little bit tight, um, but I think that will probably ease off as I get using it. My grey one is in my work bag for the weekend because that's where I do my little five piece diamond painting purely because they're small enough to roll up into a Pringles tube. So I have a feeling that, that by the way, the five piece is around. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely leaning towards doing a round next. I just don't know which one. Haven't decided. I really, really want to do one of the Mandy Manzano ones because I do like her work and I've not tried it yet. Um, the only thing that puts me off is the amount of 310. Not because I mind working with 310, I don't. Um, But they can be a little bit trickier and they do show gaps up so um it sort of highlights your skill level i suppose this is going very quickly today so i'm pleased what other companies have i been looking at um so i had a look at craftably i also had a look at diy moon shop again the canvases are quite expensive. I don't know at this minute in time if I can afford to spend that amount of money. I mean, I like Diamond Art Club and they are absolutely worth the money. But if I'm going to be spending like £70 on one diamond painting, I need to know that, that it's good quality. I need to know it's worth it. Um because I haven't spent that on a Diamond Art Club one yet. Um, it's a lot of money if it's something you haven't tried. So I think for the time being, I'm just going to keep watching people's unboxings. Um, Aura Lower, I think, is another one that I've seen that I could be tempted to try. Um, Evershine, someone mentioned on AliExpress, is another one. Um, I did look at Diamond Art Studio in the UK, but I'm going to be honest, they didn't really have anything in there that was my taste. You know, there was probably two, and I didn't like either of them enough to actually want them. So I will keep going back and having a look because I'd like to try them. But until they, they come out, they produce something that's my style. You know, there's not a, an incentive there for me to buy from there yet. Um, if you have any recommendations for good quality licensed artwork, please. 
I'm not a snob, like I said, you know, if I can find a stock image at a decent price that I like, I will pay for it. You know, I'll get it from anywhere. It doesn't matter. Um, but I do prefer to have licensed artwork. That is just the way that I work. Um, I do have some artwork that is not and I know it is not and I will still do it because it's for my personal use but I don't agree with it I do think artists should be compensated for what they do and for me I don't mind paying extra for a good quality kit um, you know the overall the quality of Diamond Art Club so far is the best that I've worked on um, but I have been told Ever Moment is quite good, so we shall see. I also want to do a kitten down video, but I can't do that until I finish this one. Um, and I'm still in the process of updating my spare storage anyway, so I'd quite like to get that done before I do a video. But there are elements of the spare storage that I will update as I go just because it's easier um, so I'm switching the labels over I'm switching the cards over at the moment for ones that I've made um, but I'm also switching to one square and one round bag as well because I was originally only keeping square diamonds because like I said tried square loved them went on a mission of buying square diamond paintings and then started to do this one and thought, wow, if the drill quality is as nice in the rounds as it is in the square, then I think I want to keep them. And also, I did enjoy doing the round that I did on holiday. So actually, I'm not going to discount rounds because um, I've seen some beautiful artwork done with rounds. So, it, you know, it can work. And at the end of the day, I want to try a bit of everything. You know, I know a round will be quicker because they're slightly bigger. And it's easier to place because, you know, as long as they're in the right place, you're not going to have too many issues. We shall see. Um, really been enjoying watching people doing the events as well. I've watched um, some of the um, drills and chills. I've got a few people that I follow that are doing that. Um, Festival of Witches, I've seen some of those. Um, I did watch some of the um, Chuck Along as well. If you're not aware of what a Chuck Along is, it's, it's Chuck Pinson. Um, I've come into it too late this year to take part in any of these, but I do plan trying to put the wrong lid on the pot I do plan to try it next year because I I like the idea of you know spending your time drilling with other people you know that was the whole reason I wanted to do the whip and chats it was because I enjoy listening to whip and chats when I'm working so I figured other people would too um love these trays from Admiral Zest you just give it a quick shake and then just tap they just line up beautifully That's why I like them. Um, my mum is still using my pink tray. She loves it. So I doubt I'm getting that back. Um, but that's fine. I have two others. I did buy when I bought my first one. I also bought spare stoppers just in case I lost one. Or, you know, had one that didn't fit or whatever. I've not had to use those yet. Um, I'm really pleased with the progress on this, considering I haven't done as much diamond painting as I wanted to. My original plan was to do one section a day, and it just hasn't worked out that way. Um, you know, I've had so much going on. The youngest being back at school, um, my eldest moved out again recently, so we've been helping him with a car and that sort of thing. Um, I have my granddaughter and um, we went away so um, 
I just haven't had the time that I wanted to to do diamond painting, sadly. But I'm enjoying it this morning. It's a beautiful sunny day. The door is open. The dishwasher is on. So I thought I'd get a little bit of time in now to do a whip and chat so that I can uh, get some jobs done, which would be helpful. Love that click. You know the click when you get that diamond in on a square painting. Love it. I also like the vague pop noise you get when you place a drill. But the click is um, very fascinating. Um, when I'm placing square drills, or, or certainly on this picture anyway, um, I tend to get it right up against the previous drill, um, which I think is helping. Um, I, I must admit, these drills do fit together very nicely, so I'm not having too many issues. And if I do come across a drill that's got a little bit of a skirt, um, skirt being the little almost see-through bits of plastic you get around the drill sometimes I don't put those in um, I also don't put in drills that are misshapen or have large noticeable holes in um, sometimes I think it is usual in um, resin drills that you do sometimes get a little bit on the edge missing um, if it's too big then yes I will trash that um, but as long as the diamonds fit together nicely I, I will use them if I can you know waste not want not um, I don't think I've been doing diamond painting enough to know which, what is a high number of trash um, I was just aware when I started doing diamond art club that you do have a little bit more trash because they're resin drills so um, as long as I don't run out of any, I don't think it will be a problem. I love the detail as well on the Diamond Art Club ones. Um, I think I said previously that they hand chart their canvases and it certainly makes a difference. You know, you get a level of detail with the shading that you just do not get in cheaper kits. Have to say, my husband even agrees with me on this one. He thinks the quality on Diamond Art Club is, is much nicer. So, um, thankfully, he's on side. Will I only ever buy Diamond Art Club? No, not at all. You know, I'm willing to try lots of different companies. I'm willing to try, you know, cheaper drills. I just have lower expectations. You know, if I spend £6 on a kit... Um, I don't expect it to have lots of detail or lots of drills or, you know, the sparkle the way that this one does because it's a cheaper kit. The odds are the drills will be acrylic. They won't be as shiny. That's the way it is. So it's managing expectations, I think. Um, I have high expectations now from doing Diamond Art Club. Um, I'm very happy. I've not had to pay full price for a kit yet. They, there's usually 10 or 15% off. And like I said on the last order, I got 20% off because I used their app for the first time. <coughs> I wouldn't buy more than two kits anyway, just because... I think it's if you spend over £135, you may then have to pay import duties on top of that. And I don't want to be paying more. So I generally order maximum two kits at a time to avoid that. I do not want to be paying extra than we have to. Um, I am part of a de-stashing group in the UK for Diamond Art Club. Um, I haven't yet seen anything that I particularly want um, but you know if something came up um, the problem I've got is I will see pictures and I will instantly 
it will remind me of someone and I'll think, oh, Kat would love that in her room or Ashley would love that in the front room. And nine times out of ten, they don't at all. I saw Where the Fun Never Ends. That was one of my daughter's favourite programmes when she was when she was little. And I said, oh, you know, I'll, it's a big canvas, but I'll get it and I'll do it for you for your room. No, nah, it's all right. That's what she said. No, nah, it's all right. Well, I'm not going to spend that amount of money on a Diamond Art Club kit that reminds me of her if it's not going to be displayed anywhere. That's pointless. Just scanning for any symbols that I might have missed. <coughs> I think we're good, but you never know. I may have to come back to that colour. Um, so, yeah, I'm just... Um, you know, some kits I buy because I see them and I just like them. I don't have an intention of hanging them anywhere or doing anything with them, in which case I will find a way to store them so that I can look through them when I want to. That's the way it goes. So I'm going to go for the L next, just so I can get this. So this is going very quickly, mainly because it is colour blocking. So I shan't be too long on this bit, I don't think. Um, so at the minute, the um, Diamond Dark Club canvases came into the UK yesterday. So I would envision they will be here possibly tomorrow, maybe the day after. Um, so once they come in, I will do my first unboxing. Whoop, whoop. Um, Thank you to those of you that have subscribed. I know it's not many, but do you know what? It's three more than I had the other day. <laughs> so, welcome. Thank you. Um, please do comment or ask questions because that will give me something to talk about on the next one. Um, I'd love to know what companies you use and why. I'd love to know where you're getting your diamond paintings from. Um, my mum very much is still a Amazon user. So yeah, my mum just came in. So I had to stop for a second. So I'll go back to doing this. Um, so yeah, she still buys from Amazon fan sales. Um, she's doing a couple of smaller ones. She tends to do the smaller pictures. Um, but then saying that, the fan cell ones I've ordered, some of them aren't massively big. I think, you know, 50 by 50. I think I've got an 80 by 40, but that's that's like a four piece, which is lovely. It's, it's some trees, which I really liked. Um, luckily, because we've moved into a new house, I do have plenty of wall space to be putting diamond paintings on. Um, one of my first diamond paintings was from Van Sells, and I got it because um, I'm a massive Lord of the Rings fan and it was a rendition of um, Rivendell from Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Um, and I really liked it and it was my first. I did a small square. I bought a set of four square diamond paintings off Amazon to try squares because I was a bit scared to because everyone said, you know, they're more difficult, it takes longer. You know, like I said, I'm not the most patient person. Anyway, I brought these four. I did one of them, loved them, decided to start on the Rivendell one. Um, and that was a 30 by 80, I think. So, you know, it's fairly narrow, but quite long. And I ended up giving... Got, a, got one up there. I ended up giving the other three that I got off Amazon um, to my mum to do. So she's just completing the last one of those. Um, they came from Sainer Direct, which um, they weren't too bad quality at all. Whereas the first Huacan one that I did, I got from Amazon. And I had drills popping so bad. Um, it was a, a moon with Dumbo on, which I did for my granddaughter's room. 
um, that one did go behind glass so I'm hoping that they don't have any issues with the diamonds popping off um, haven't had that with this one at all I have to this is what I mean I've got my it's a bit tight but to be fair oh there we go to be fair I do have arthritis in my fingers so I probably don't have the best grip um, so that's what I'm waiting for I'm waiting for these diamond paintings to come in um, I did buy another two sets of storage um, I ordered another 30 bottle case and a 60 bottle case the two that I've got come in from Diamond Art Club one has got more than 30 and the other one has got more than 40 definitely colours um, so I could kit one of those up in the 60 case but I don't like kitting up you know if you've got like 35 and you kit that 35 up in a 60 case and you've got the cases left over I don't like doing that um, when I first started I a lot of my paintings had 30 or less colours so I would just kit two up um, but it's very rare that I do a canvas with under at least 24 colours I've got a couple most of mine I've got a bunch of who can ones that are, are 45 colours most of them so I don't know at the moment I don't I really want to do Wonderland because I've got it kitted up and I was so excited to kit it up and it is around so I thought I would do that one next but again it's not the smallest painting it's a half decent size painting and I'm sort of wondering if I should just do a small one between bigger ones but I don't know they're funny decisions we have to make aren't they but they're good decisions. You know, I, I love sitting there trying to figure out what I'm going to do next and the reasons why. Whatever happens, it will be around one next, most definitely. The other Diamond Art Club one I've got is Soulmates, which is a big painting. But then it's the same size as the one of the newer Diamond Art Club ones that I've ordered. So, meh, I don't know. I'm sure you will find out when I find out, when I make a decision. You know, I've seen people make decisions on what um, painting they're going to do using a nap and everything, but I couldn't do that because I've, I've really, I've got to be invested into a canvas to want to do it enough, which is why I haven't done the Big Diamond Art Club one yet, because I didn't feel I was ready for a project that big. Um... And at the minute, yeah, I'm leaning towards doing a smaller one. So I don't know. As soon as I know, I'll tell you. There's a deal for you. Um, so the pens that I'm using, I got these from Amazon. I put in ergonomic drill painting pens. And it came up with these. And the reason I like them is because they come with the stainless steel tip. I love the stainless steel tip, absolutely love them. They are brilliant. Um, for a little while, I was using the plastic elbow tips, which are also very good if you've got arthritis or have, you know, carpal tunnel or issues with your hands. But I can't seem to get the hang of using them when I'm doing squares for some reason. On rounds, it's absolutely fine. On squares, I really struggle. So um, I tend to stick to a straight stainless steel single placer. So that's that done. So I'm literally gonna finish this. I'm gonna keep rolling until this section's done because we're nearly there now. Um, and then I shall disappear and do some housework because you know, I'm one of those people, I hate housework. I'd much rather be doing fun stuff. Um, so I do tend to run around like a loon for an hour and a half getting stuff done before my husband comes home from work. Um, but this morning I have got some bits and pieces that I want to get done. So I need to do that. And then what I will do is I'll leave my diamond painting on my desk and I'll come back and do a bit at a time in between. And I'll probably get another section done today. 
Um, I try not to diamond paint too late before I go to bed because I have insomnia and I find that if I leave it too late then I don't get enough sleep. So um, I tend to stop around, at the latest, around nine o'clock and then I go and um, get pyjamas on and I lay in bed and watch programs on my tablet so currently I am watching I am re-watching should I say The Walking Dead mainly because they've got a new season out and I'm a binge watcher so I like to wait until I've got a whole season before I watch it and as it's the last season I want to make sure that I'm up to speed so that is what I'm doing. I'm currently just started season seven. So obviously the whole Negan thing still made me cry. I watched last night the episode where Glenn died and um, I cried. For those of you that are parents, have you found that you're more emotional since you had children? Because I certainly am. Um... So that's what I'm watching at the moment. My husband does not watch stuff like that because he doesn't like it. So, yeah, I watch on my tablet. I have a Who Are We tablet. Instantly, it will also be the one that I use when I start my Heaven and Earth project, whenever that will be. Not yet. Not yet. It's sitting there waiting. I'm just building up spares. I, I think at this rate it will probably be... Probably can't speak now it will probably be next year just smacked my head on my phone um yeah it'll probably be next year now before i get started on that because um i need to get a few more drills together certainly 839s because i don't have anywhere near enough of those or 310 um so my plan was, so I've got the inventory sheet. If, you, if you're not familiar with Heaven and Earth Designs, um, they are a company, they're predominantly a cross-stitch company, but they do have diamond painting canvases. And you would order the canvas and then you would order the drills from a separate supplier. Um, so I have a Heaven and Earth cross-stitch design, which I am going to convert into a diamond painting. Um, the one that I'm doing is very narrow. It's only about 18, I think it's, I think it's 24 centimetres by 84 or something. So it's very narrow. Thought it would be ideal for in the hallway. You know that bit of wall? that you have above your stairs, well in some houses anyway, that, that bit of wall on the landing that you can't, that you don't put anything on. Um, because that's quite long and narrow, I figured it would sit nicely on there. Um, and the plan was, you get an inventory sheet, it's got 200, 240 colours. So the plan, because I've got the inventory sheet and it tells you how many drills you need, my plan was to have at least 200 of each colour to make a start. I'm not there yet. Um, so that was the plan. However, some of these colours you only need a handful of. And there is another handful that are DMC numbers that don't exist anymore. So I'm going to have to find... Um, I'm going to have to switch them out for something that I can find. Um, so the plan was, if I did a few Diamond Art Club, because or the square ones anyway, um, I may have some AB crystals, AB drills that I could switch out for some of the colours, which I think would be nice, just to change it up a little bit. Because that's the beauty of doing that. You can switch colours out and do your own thing. So that was what I was planning to do. Um, at the minute, I'm not quite there. Um, it will be a long project because you need so many drills and I'm not going to have all of those. I'm certainly not going to wait until I've got enough drills in every single colour. But I do have quite a few 
where um, I don't need any more in that colour because I've already got them. So that's quite good. I'm quickly going to do this number five because it's dark blue and I only need six of them. Something just made a really weird noise. I'm thinking it might be a neighbour's cat. Certainly wasn't my dog. We recently lost one of our dogs. We did have two dogs. No, it was my dog. Um, we had a Jack Russell called Coco. And we also have a Sprocker Spaniel, which if you don't know what a Sprocker is, it is a cross between a Cocker Spaniel and a Springer Spaniel. So Peppa's dad was a Springer Spaniel. Her mum was a Cocker. So she is a Sprocker. Um, it isn't a crossbreed, bizarrely. If you didn't know, Springers and Cockers come from the same family. They come from the same litter. Um, a Springer is just a name that they give to a bigger old dog of that breed. I'm just going to let my dog out. Hold on. Um, so it's not crossbreed they actually come from the same litter um, Pepper is most definitely more cocker than Springer so I'm going to switch my pen out because I'm now going to do the ABs um, Coco um, sadly became ill about three weeks ago and after a few days um, we found out that she was very poorly and um, unfortunately she passed away she was nearly 12 so she was an elderly dog I love placing the ABs I always do the ABs last just because sometimes you will get that AB residue in the tray so I like to clean the tray out after I've done them also because you want to use a pen that isn't too sticky because you don't want to pull that coating off and also because it's my favorite bit absolutely i mean you can see how much they sparkle it's absolutely beautiful and on this picture especially it's given that snow very much a 3d effect i cannot wait to get this one framed and above the fire our new fire at christmas blazing fire and Christmas tree in the window oh can't wait um so yeah sadly we lost Coco um she is now buried in the garden um very very sad but I'm glad that she died at home we weren't able to save her um and it's always with an elderly dog there's always that risk she was booked in to have surgery but there's always that risk that they're not strong enough. This glue dot is barely even sticky enough to pick up the ABs. I can't use tweezers. I can use tweezers. I can use tweezers for plucking eyebrows. But for picking drills up, no. I'm too heavy handed and they just like spring out of the uh, out the tweezers and across the room she's of no use to anybody so we are currently a one dog family we may at some point um get another rescue dog um pepper we did actually get as a puppy but i know my husband he loves spaniels um he is part of a spaniel rescue group so um not saying never um, but for the time being we're just a one dog family and she's loving the attention even if she's missing her friend okay that is that section done which I'm really pleased about because I really feel like I've neglected my diamond painting I apologise that it was quite colour blocky um, but you can definitely see that sparkle and um, that's the point isn't it the point of, of doing these sorts of videos is so that you guys can see different kits. Um, would I say 
despite the price, <coughs> excuse me, that Diamond Art Club is worth it. Absolutely. But make sure that you're getting as much money off as you can. Um, there is a discount code on the side of the box, which will give you, I think it's 10% off. You can, if you're a first time buyer, you get 15% off. Um, I used the app for the first time and got 20% off. Um, so do that. Don't pay full price for it. Um, I keep an eye on the sale stuff. You know, very often if they've got stuff that's discontinued, um, they will discount stuff. You know, there's ways and means of doing it. Um, but it's definitely worth it. The quality is beautiful. And I am loving working on this one. Um, the other reason I don't want to do... Um, I've got a Who I Can one which is also a deer picture I have this thing about deers I didn't even realise until I realised how many diamond up paintings that I've got with deer on um, but it's blues it's all blues again it's a winter scene and I don't want to do another blue one after this I want to do something a bit more colourful um, so and that is that from me today please do give me a like give me a subscribe I would love for you to join me um, please do share um, you know tell people about me if it's the sort of thing you like watching maybe your friends will like watching it too um, please do come back um, I will be doing at least one more Whipham chat on this canvas um, and then once I've done it there will also be a review and there will also be a D kit as well which will be an opportunity for you to see how I store my extra drills um, it's been absolutely lovely having you along thank you for watching thank you for coming back if you're returning thank you for staying if you are new um, I appreciate it um, it's nice to know I'm not talking to myself you know that's always good so I'm going to put my stuff away and go get some jobs done I will be back very very soon thank you so much for taking the time bye bye for now